All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to lesson five of the Surfside PPC WordPress money course. Today we're gonna to be going over exactly how to install WordPress. Um, so in the previous video, we went over how to register your domain name and how to set up hosting through HostGator. Um, so after I set up hosting, uh, one, you're gonna get an initial email. And basically once you log into your account, you're gonna see this page with your account summary. Um, this is basically your back end through your hosting account. There's a lot of different tabs here you can go through if you want to kind of get familiar with it. Pretty self-explanatory. Billing is going to include, you know, your payment method, any invoices you have, uh, all the past payments you've made, and any upcoming payments. Um, so hosting is, this is really your most important tab is the hosting tab. That's where everything is. So you know that that's kind of where you do everything domains if you want to register a new domain or kind of manage your existing domain um, and support is pretty self-explanatory if you need any help you can submit you can submit a ticket to them or you can call them directly usually so uh, what we're gonna do when you're installing WordPress is go right into this hosting tab here so your hosting tab will basically include everything um, you know, in terms of your server, your files, your database. Uh, you'll see other things in here, email, hosting dashboard, domains. Um, I don't have a website live yet, but once you do, it'll show more of your server uptime, your page load speed. Uh, they'll have site availability kind of worldwide. Usually it should be available. Um, some visitor stats here. I don't really have any visitors yet, so it might just be some bots or something like that. Um, and some different, you know, CPU load average, RAM usage average. So depending on the hosting package you use, if you're kind of getting into, you know, too much CPU, too much memory usage, you can upgrade those things. It just costs a little extra. So basically what we're going to do is after you click on the hosting tab up top, you want to click on hosting dashboard. Um, so your hosting dashboard will be kind of where you go through a lot of different things kind of a lot of different things to manage your website. Usually there's special offers above up here. Um, mine aren't showing up for some reason, I'm not sure why, but you don't need that right now. Um, these are most popular links. Each of these will take you into cPanel, um, but what we're gonna do is launch quick install. So we're trying to install WordPress, so we're just gonna install it right through HostGator. We're gonna launch quick install. All right, so once that loads, you're gonna see uh, kind of all these different things down here. So site builders and CMS content management systems. Um, so one-click installs, WordPress, Website Builder, they have a lot of different options for you. They're also going to show some themes down here, so they're going to try to sell you different themes. So WordPress themes, Joomla, different, you know, management system for your content and other themes as well. Um, plugins, you know, there's a, a bunch of WordPress plugins we're going to go through. A lot of them are free, so, you know, they're going to show a lot of different professional services, plugins, themes. They kind of want to sell you on a lot of different things, so it's just a way for them to make you know, some extra money, but they do have a lot of good stuff there, so it's worth looking through. It is helpful stuff, but they're obviously trying to sell it to you, so. Uh, WordPress, completely free once you kind of have your hosting. You obviously have to pay for hosting, but once you have that, um, all we're going to do is click on WordPress, and it's going to bring up a page where we can select the domain for our installation, um, or you can let a pro do it for you. Um, you could just do this yourself. It's pretty self-explanatory. So when you registered your domain in the previous video, uh, it should come up right here. So farmhousegoals.com. And I'm just going to click next. Uh, so blog title. So for now, I'm just going to do farmhouse goals. I might change that as we go. It might um, change to something new. So admin user. Uh, so basically, this is you just want to put your name, uh, whatever it is. I can do, you know, I'm going to do admin AC for right now. So first name, do Corey, last name, William, admin email. So I just set up a temporary email kind of for my thing. I'm going to update this email as I go. Um, automatically create a new database for this installation. You absolutely want to have that checked. And you have to accept their terms of service agreement before you can install. So once we click install, you'll see here overall website progress, WordPress is installing. We're just going to let it install for right now. All right, so the installation is complete. They're going to send you, you know, where it's installed to. So now it's what WordPress is installed on farmhousegoals.com. Uh, the username right now is admin AC, and this is my temporary password. So all you have to do is click login. I'm going to copy that password too. Um, so it's going to bring you up to this page here. 
uh, make sure you save your password in the previous step. Um, so my username is going to be admin AC, and we're going to log in. So once you log in, you're going to get this. So welcome to WordPress. What kind of site can we help you set up? Business, personal, uh, or you could click I don't need help. It's really up to you. Um, I'm going to consider mine a business website, so I'm going to click business. Uh, it's going to give you site title, farmhouse goals, site description. So I'm just going to do something quick here. This I might change this. Uh, so let's just do farmhouse decor, furniture, and more. So next step. So it's going to say, are you going to update your site with news or blog posts? Yes. So what should visitors see on your home page? Uh, so I like to do a static welcome page. We're going to set that up eventually. Uh, build a starter contact us page. No thanks. Um, then we're just going to do not now for connect your Jetpack profile. Jetpack uh, is a good thing for analytics and some diff it, there's a lot of different capabilities with Jetpack. It's something to look into, but we're not doing it right now. Um, so you can add your business address if you have one. I'm just going to do not now. Um, so install WooCommerce. We are going to do that, but I'm going to do that in a separate step. So basically now we're all set up. You, we, you can update your title and description, homepage layout, all these different things here if you want. Um, but for now, let's just open our website and I'll show. Should have something listed here. So I didn't do any of this right now. This is just kind of the default installation they have. So farmhouse goals, you'll see the tagline we did here, decor, furniture, and more. Uh, this is my front page. There's obviously nothing on here yet. So we have WordPress completely installed. Uh, you'll see our back end here in the dashboard. Uh, some updates already, some plugins. Uh, you can just click X here. And kind of your dashboard is here. There might be some, so this is kind of one of the big things. WordPress 4.8.2 is available. If they don't um, give you the most recent version of WordPress, sometimes they'll install the the one previous, just make sure you update it. You want to continuously update all these things, uh, your plugins and WordPress. Um, I'm obviously getting a ton of ton of different warning messages up here. So you could just do, you know, do not allow, kind of some different things up here. You can just X out a lot of these things. A lot of times they want reviews or they just want you to set up their initial plugin. Uh, what I want to do is there's an updated version of WordPress available. Let's update that. All right, so they'll give you a little welcome to WordPress 4.8.2 page or whichever version you're on, and it'll give you some new things to keep in mind, you know, what's new, credits. Uh, so it's good to go through. Sometimes you can learn about the different things that you can uh, add to your website. Now, the other thing I want to go through is updating our other plugins. So let's just go to Updates 5. If you ever see updates in here, you want to make sure that you're up keeping all your plugins up to date because without them, um, your website becomes more vulnerable to security issues. So these are the different, so we're just going to select all of them, just click update, and it's all automated. You can see it down here. So we have, so once you see this message, all updates have been complete. You're all good to go. Let's just click home. And now we have basically our WordPress dashboard here. Gonna get a lot of warning messages and we'll close out of a lot of that stuff. All right, so now you can see kind of where at our dashboard. You can update this as you wish and move, remove things, add things. There's a lot of different things you could do with your dashboard and that's basically it. So now we have WordPress all installed. Um, once you do this step, uh, you should be ready for our next step, which is going to be uh, ordering a logo and starting to set up your website. So thanks for joining us today and make sure you subscribe for more video updates.